Searching for an affordable home to rent can be exhausting. Factor in spiraling inflation and the headaches are only getting worse. Just ask Kirsten Parnell. There's thousands of people in Halifax looking for apartments right now and they're in the same situation as me. She had finally found a suitable one bedroom unit in this complex until she was asked to provide the first and last month's rent. That's not allowed in Nova Scotia, but more and more renters are saying they have no other choice. People are more desperate, so they're, they're putting up with it in a way that they, they might not have before. New figures show the price of a one-bedroom rental in Halifax shot up more than 13% in the past year. In Toronto, it's an even steeper rise, while renters in Vancouver have endured a climb near a whopping 20%. And there's no relief in sight. The listing website rentals.ca says from April to May, Canadians saw the steepest monthly rent increase in three years. In the country's biggest city, amid the roar of constant condo construction, renters are feeling the squeeze. We all know none of those places are going to be affordable stock. The federal government is rolling out a one-time housing affordability payment of $500 for low-income earners. But advocates like Marcia Stone say it's hardly enough. What's $500 going to do? That can barely buy somebody's groceries these days. With rising interest rates cooling Toronto's housing market, more renters are hanging on to their apartments, driving availability down and pushing prices up. Really shooting up and, and uh, good news for landlords, but uh, obviously bad news for tenants. And for tenants, that steeper inflation only means more trouble ahead. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.